there, welcome to Dish with Trish and welcome to my kitchen. I just finished up giving out a pile of cupcakes at church today and did those look so yummy. It took every ounce of discipline I had not to eat a cupcake. You're probably wondering why I didn't, but um, I'm trying to not eat sugar. In the back of my mind I was thinking, okay, I'm going to go home and I'm going to make a nice fruit smoothie. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make a nice fruit smoothie and I want to show you how to make it. Have you ever been to Fresh Planet? It's a place where they make smoothies and some wraps and different things like that. They have really, really good fruit smoothies. This is the flyer that they also have that I thought that I should confiscate from them because in this flyer they have all the ingredients that go into all of their smoothies. Let me see if I can find it. The one that I like is the Mickey's Mixed Berry smoothie that they have. It has uh, blackberries, blueberries, raspberries, strawberries, bananas, and apple juice. What I want to make for you though is Trisha's Mixed Berry Smoothie. And that's because I don't exactly have all of Mickey's ingredients. You know you can just kind of make it your own recipe. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make a Trisha's Mixed Berry Drink. And I want to show you the ingredients I'm going to use for this. First of all, I have some pomegranate juice. This is really good stuff. It's good for your brain. It's good for your body. And it's also good for your heart. I also have some 100% apple juice that we'll be using. And these two liquid ingredients is what's going to help all of our berries make a really good, nice, smooth consistency drink that's going to taste delicious. And for our berries, what I'm using is two-thirds cup of blueberries. Ooh, that's cold. Just came out of the freezer. These, of course, are frozen. Frozen or fresh works good, either one. I must say these are, these were fresh. We picked these at a blueberry farm, so they are very, very healthy, very fresh, local grown, and I can't wait to try this smoothie. We have three quarters cup of raspberries here. There's a place, matter of fact, that uh, we drive by every Sunday from church that we can pick raspberries, but we just haven't made it out there to do that yet. We also have our pomegranate seeds. I actually bought about five pomegranates and I chopped them all up and, th and that's why I have pomegranate seeds. We're going to use a quarter cup of pomegranate seeds here in this. I have one lonely banana. Now this banana actually looks like it's just about ready for the garbage. With this banana, it's going to make our smoothie taste very, very delicious. Lastly, we have almond butter. If you want, you can add peanut butter. I like to use almond butter. In one tablespoon of almond butter, you're going to get four grams of protein. The amount that our recipe here today is going to make is two servings. So that means we're going to have 8 grams of protein going on in our fruit smoothie, which is really good. We need a little bit of protein for a pick-me-up, right? So come on over and I'll show you what we're doing. Just going to pop in our blueberries. In they go. In goes our 3 quarters cup of raspberries, of pomegranate seeds, and our banana. Next we're going to add our juices in. The juice. That looks good. And in goes a cup of apple juice. And process. Light off. When you're making this, you want the consistency to be thicker, then just add a little less apple juice. If you want your consistency thinner, then add more apple juice than what is giving in these directions. I'm going to take my liquid and place it into a measuring cup because there's a little spout on there and that makes it easier to pour. If I try pouring from this, I'm going to make a big mess. I can tell you that now because I've done it before. Using a measuring cup will also help us determine how much fruit smoothie we've actually made. So here we go. So now we'll just add it into our glasses. If you have more than two people, you can just kind of give everybody a little bit less than um, a two serving and make it a four serving. You see those little purple things in there? Of course, those are just blueberry skins, and they're just fine. They don't always grind up perfectly. Two luscious fruit berry smoothies that are gonna that taste delicious, and now I'm gonna just try it out to make sure that it does. Mm. This is really good. You can really taste the blueberries. Um, the pomegranate seeds. Um, I forgot to tell you, they're gonna have a little crunch to them because they don't really process all the way. So if you taste something that's a little crunchy. That's going to be the pomegranate seeds. So.